Hi, this is Dave, and this is a re short review of the Thermarest Z Light Soul sleeping pad. That's sleeping pad, not maxi pad. This foam pad is about 72 inches and weighs around 14 ounces. It's yellow on one side and covered with a silver, silver colored reflective material on the other. It folds up like an accordion, making it easier to store. The retail price on this is somewhere between $34.95 and $44.95, depending on the size of the pad you get. Uh, you can probably pick one of these up online for a little cheaper, though. Even with shipping, it should be a little bit cheaper. Uh, this pad's claim to fame is that the reflective surface reflects body heat and increases the warmth by 20%. The egg carton design also supposedly traps heat in the recesses and makes it warmer and more comfortable. I've used this pad several times and it was always more comfortable than a self-inflating pad. The reflective surface seems to be doing its job for three season camping, but I would still use two pads for winter camping. I used this on a 19 degree uh, day and... Uh, my back didn't get cold. Uh, that probably has more to do with the multiple layers of clothing I was wearing than the pad itself. Uh, to be safe, you should always use two pads in the winter time, though. Uh, I sleep by my side and have found that self-inflating pads are very uncomfortable for me. This pad is much more comfortable for a side sleeper because it's a relatively thick material. With self-inflating pads, my hip would hurt when I woke up. I haven't had any problems with that, though, with this pad. There are a couple of problems with this pad though. The first is that it's too big to fit inside the outside carrying straps on my backpack. I had to remove two pieces of it to get it to fit. The pad's still long enough to use after the alteration as long as you use a pillow though. Alternatively, you can keep the two pieces you cut off and fold those up to use as a pillow. Or you can even sit on them as like a little chair. Uh, ultralight Backpackers may want to cut this pad in half though and use only half of it. The full pad only weighs 14 ounces though and all but the most fanatical ultralight backpacker won't have any issues with the weight though. The second problem is that foam will compress after many uses. This is not a pr problem that's exclusive to this pad but a problem that all foam pads share. Uh, overall, I really like this pad and I recommend it. It's certainly more comfortable and warm than a self-inflating sleeping bag. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the review.